You got it. We have some breaking economic news. Let's bring in our global correspondent, Brian Chung, who's tracking all these developing numbers. Brian, I'm excited to get your take on construction spending. I know it's a very important point. <laughs> you watch it very closely, but yeah. ISM first. ISM first. Yeah, well, we just got ISM manufacturing figures for the month of August. And when we take a look at the numbers, we could see that it printed at a 52.8%. Again, this coming from the Institute for Supply Management for the month of August. Uh, that particular figure uh, shows actually the same number recorded in July. So it suggests that the expansion uh, is continuing, although it's kind of plateauing here. That's the 27th month in a row, however, uh, of growth. Uh, seems like new orders index actually coming in at 51.3%. That's 3.3 percentage points that higher than the 48 uh, recorded in July. So even though the number on the overall manufacturing kind of plateauing, at least new orders going up, uh, production index uh, actually declining compared to July. So it's a bit of a mixed report report here, uh, although it does show that the manufacturing sector continuing to chug along. What about the spending here that we've been tracking within construction? Where, where did that come out? Yeah, well, I mean, if we talk about construction spending, that's another release that we got just a few minutes ago. Uh, you guys know I love to put on my hard hat here when it comes to the construction yeah, I can tell. numbers, I can tell. but uh, actually contracting in the month of July down 0.4% compared to the revised numbers in June. Keep in mind that already follows a 1.1% month over month uh, report for the month of June. This is pretty lag data. Again, we're looking at July as of the updated numbers, but this shows that construction does continue to slow. A lot of that being driven by private side of things. Public construction apparently up during the during the month, but again, in the month of July, private construction, which is the lion's share of construction in this country, uh, contracting. Now, a lot of that could be due to the higher rates that we saw the Federal Reserve uh, kind of go about over the course of 2022. That appears to have slowed activity on the infrastructure and on the investment side of things. But keep in mind, what we're looking at today with ISM manufacturing and also with construction, we try to put this in a kind of holistic view. It's definitely showing some sort of slowdown, but it's not necessarily aligning with what we're seeing on the labor market. It'll be interesting to see what that August jobs report for tomorrow shows. But the numbers for the labor market, as we saw from initial claims going down this week as of the morning numbers, then also the uh, jolts data that we got earlier this week, showing the labor market still chugging along. So at some point, do the numbers that we see in overall manufacturing and industrials start to bleed through to layoffs in the labor market? Possibly, but we're not seeing that quite yet. Yeah, Brian, I saw you crunch the numbers on construction spending in our uh, office in the newsroom this morning. But look, does this slowdown in construction mean that we won't get a rate hike at the next Fed meeting? Well, the rate hike is going to happen. Rate hike is going to happen, sure. even with yeah. the construction slowdown. Even with the construction slowdown. This is, the, look, it's slowing down, but I don't think Jay Powell's going to look at the construction numbers as closely as we and, are and, you and do, then see, yes. oh my gosh, contraction mm. in July. Mm. We're going to have to cut. That's not going to happen, right? Okay. The Fed is going to raise rates, market pricing, very much favoring a more aggressive 75 basis point hike as opposed to a 50 basis point hike uh, prior to what actually many markets were expecting prior to Jay Powell's very short, abrupt but clear speech on Friday. Fed's going to continue to raise rates. They're going to raise rates, by the way, past September as well. The question is, where do they stop? Maybe towards the end of the year, they're going to look very closely at these types of manufacturing numbers if it does also relate to and coincide with a slowdown in the labor market as well. You see the unemployment rate start to tick up. That's going to be the first indicator that the Fed might be interested in slowing the pace of hikes and at some point pausing, maybe at some point cutting. But Hold your horses. We're not there yet. Psyched to see your coverage. <laughs> Manufacturing and construction enthusiast Brian Chung here on set with us. Thanks for breaking some of the numbers for us this morning.